In January 2022, CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, presented their sodium ion battery. This completely dispenses with lithium, the price of which has exploded in recent months due to the high demand. In addition, this new salt battery comes completely without cobalt and is 100% recyclable. And by 2023, these next-gen batteries will be mass-produced also outside of China. Therefore, the company has invested 1.8 billion US dollars to build its largest battery plant in the heart of Europe, Germany, to supply all German automobile makers. Manufacturers such as Tesla, Mercedes, and BMW already have long-term contracts with CATL to ensure their battery supply. Mercedes even secured a yearly battery output of 100 gigawatt hours by building a $7.4 billion battery plant in Hungary in a partnership with the site. These batteries are interesting for renewable energy storage as well, due to their shocking low prices. So what is this next-gen sodium-ion battery all about? What are the benefits over lithium-ion batteries? And how is it possible that salt will revolutionize the industry? Join us as we explore how the next-gen sodium-ion battery will change the entire market. Before we dive into our topic, support our channel by hitting the subscribe button for free and ringing the bell icon to not miss out on any new technological advancements. Lithium-ion batteries, which are built in almost every new electric car coming out of the factories, have a decisive disadvantage. Only four countries in the world can currently mine lithium on a large scale. Argentina, Chile, Australia, and China. But China imports most of the lithium it uses in battery production to protect its deposits and stockpile for the future. Artificial scarcity on a large scale. But if we look at the forecast for battery production in the coming years, it is striking that we are just at the beginning. And one big problem is already clear. The world will eventually run out of lithium. Isolated solutions from companies such as BMW, Volkswagen, and Tesla already have a closed battery recycling cycle for their built-in cells. On average, each battery contains about 22 pounds of lithium. The renowned PV magazine published a study in which 3 billion electric vehicles will be on the roads by 2040. If many of these are equipped with lithium-ion batteries, then by 2040 we will quickly have used up all the lithium sources known to date. 26 million tons. Elon Musk also complained about this on Twitter. Price of lithium has gone to insane levels. Tesla might actually have to get into mining and refining directly at scale unless costs improve. There is no shortage of the element itself as lithium is almost everywhere on Earth, but pace of extraction and refinement is slow. The limiting factor of lithium batteries is because the extraction of raw material lithium is a very energy-intensive, polluting, and lengthy process. However, the demand for lithium is growing faster and new productions cannot keep up the pace. Therefore, new battery technologies are required to keep up with the electrification, make it scalable, and most importantly, affordable. Since battery production between 2020 and 2021 has almost doubled, the world's lithium production between 2018 and 2021 remained almost the same. And here is where the next-gen sodium-ion battery comes into play. While the working principle of sodium-ion batteries is pretty much the same as that of lithium-ion batteries, CATL claims that their salt battery has three key benefits. Number one, it is more cold resistant than the lithium-ion batteries built in current Tesla models. Everyone who drives a Tesla in the winter or colder regions knows how it negatively affects energy consumption, range, and in conclusion, also battery lifetime. Number two, Sodium ion batteries are meant to be safer and the production process is identical to those of lithium ion batteries. As a result, known advances in battery production can be adopted, so the production process does not have to be reinvented. Number three, and most importantly, sodium is basically salt, making it a much more abundant material than lithium. Nearly 3% of the Earth's crust consists of sodium. 
So why is sodium not used in battery cells if it has so many advantages over lithium? The biggest disadvantage yet of sodium batteries over lithium is the energy density. Sodium is three times heavier than lithium. Furthermore, sodium ions are physically larger than lithium ions, which is why they cannot move as freely between the layers of graphite anodes. This places higher requirements on the separator material. But the world's largest battery manufacturer is at the top for a reason. At CATL headquarters in China, they have a team of 5,000 employees with only one ultimate mission – finding new ways for efficient batteries. So, CATL has managed to produce a next-gen sodium-ion battery with the energy density comparable of that of lithium-ion batteries. What sounded like theory a year ago is now becoming reality. CATL claims a 0 to 80% charging speed for a 100 kilowatt battery in 15 minutes. The battery cells retain 90% of their capacity even at extreme temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius. In addition, they last 6,000 charging cycles, whereas lithium ion batteries only last about 3,000 cycles. But the sodium ion cells are particularly interesting for CATL because of the quite cheap production costs. The industry has agreed for lithium ion batteries because of its higher capacity. NCA batteries have an energy density of about 250 watt hours per kilogram, LFP of about 200 watt hours per kilogram, and the new sodium ion batteries, 160 watt hours per kilogram. 36% less energy density doesn't sound promising at first glance. However, a new patent of CATL shows that they are already working on a new version of this sodium cell with 200 watt hours per kilogram. CATL sodium ion battery is already 8% cheaper in production. Analysts are talking about kilowatt hour prices of $80. Those are even supposed to drop until 2025 to $30 per kilowatt hour. The average battery cost worldwide in 2021 was $137 per kilowatt hour, which means a price drop of 78%. Additionally, CATL reports that the production of lithium ion cells can be switched to sodium ion cells with very little effort because the function and structure of the cell are almost identical. However, we will see if CATL can keep the promises when mass production starts in 2023. The industry is looking for alternatives, and another company reported about a graphene battery breakthrough based on aluminum. They claim that their aluminum ion batteries can charge 70 times faster and have a three times higher capacity than conventional lithium batteries. Click the displayed video if you want to learn more about this battery breakthrough. And subscribe to my channel for free if you like this content.